click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the mechanism of the etherification and now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of ether with hydroiodic acid so now let's get started So talking about the reaction of hydroiodic acid on ether, there are two different conditions that I am going to talk about. That is what is the action of cold hydroiodic acid on ether and what is the action of hot hydroiodic acid on ether. So that is what I am going to talk about. So now let me give you the information related to the first one. That is what is the action of hot hydroiodic acid on you could say ether. So for that we have a certain example or a certain general reaction that i'm going to talk about so suppose if we have to prepare a simple ether or suppose if we have simple ether that is i'm representing by r o r and in this case the both the alkyl groups they are same and this simple ether whenever it has been treated with hot hi or hot iodic acid then the concentration of hi is more here so therefore i'm just writing that is two moles of hot HI it would be used and that is a temperature of that is 373 Kelvin then the product that we will get is nothing but R I and that also we will get that is two moles of R I along with that of water will be used as a byproduct and this is what we can obtain a reaction where we can get an alkyl halide so the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is both since we have considered the both the alkyl groups and the both can be converted into that is alkyl halide so let me give you an example related to this one suppose if we have that is ch3 o ch3 and suppose if we are treating it with that is two moles of hi and that also in a concentrated solution and at higher temperature that is suppose 373 kelvin then the product that we could get is nothing but CH3I and again CH3I so therefore we could get that is two moles of CH3I which is also known as methyl iodide along with that of the water that will be produced as a byproduct so this is how basically the reaction of a simple ether this is nothing but a simple ether the reaction of simple ether with hot HI and this was the first one and now let me talk about the same condition where we have to treat the ether with hot HI but in this case the ether it would be a mixed ether so now let's see what is the product that we could get so suppose friends if we are talking about so suppose friends if we are considering a mixed ether that is R O R dash and in this case this R dash is the one that will be different from this alkyl group as well as it will consist of more carbon atom and suppose if this condition we are treating it with that is two moles of HI or two moles of hydroiodic acid and that also at a temperature of that is 373 Kelvin then the product that we could get is nothing but R I plus R dash I along with that of the water that will be used as a byproduct so in this case we'll get two or we'll get mixture of two different alkyl halides so this is the reaction and now let me give you the example related to this one suppose if we are considering that is ch3 o c 2 h5 and suppose if we are treating it with that is two moles of hi here i am considering the hydroiodic acid the reason behind that is hcl it doesn't react with ether so that's the reason we have to consider that is a hydroiodic acid or we have to consider a hydrogen halide which is very much acidic in nature or which could be able to remove the H plus ion very much easily so that's the reason the temperature that we are providing over here is that is 373 Kelvin and the product that we could get is nothing but CH3 I plus C2H5 I that is methyl iodide and ethyl iodide along with that of that is water will be nothing but it would be the byproduct so this was nothing but this was the action of hot hydroiodic acid on ether so this was the point a and now let me talk about the point b where we are going to talk about the action of cold hi on ether so friends in this point we are going to talk about the action of cold hi on ether and, and for that suppose if i am considering a simple ether that is nothing but i could write the general reaction as r o r and suppose if i am treating it with hi and that also a cold condition and this is also a concentrated one and the temperature is nothing but that is 273 Kelvin so in this case the product that we could get we could get that is R I along with that of that is R O H so therefore we could get a mixture of that is alkyl iodide and an alcohol so this is a simple reaction of 
a simple ether with hydrohydric acid and that also at cold condition so now let me explain it with the help of an example suppose if we are considering that is ch3 o ch3 that is methoxymethane and suppose if we are treating it with hot hr suppose if we are treating it with suppose if we are treating it with cold hr and that also concentrated so at 273 kelvin the product that we could get is nothing but ch3 i along with that of ch3 oh so therefore we could get that is methyl iodide and methanol so this was the simple ether that we have considered and now let me explain the reaction where we have to consider a mixed ether and the treatment will be with that is cold hr so now let me discuss about that also so friends suppose if we have considered a mixed ether that is ROR dash in this case this R dash has much more carbon atom compared to that of this R group or this alkyl group and suppose in this condition if we are reacting it with concentrated HI and that also at a low temperature or I would call it as a cold temperature so therefore this one will be like 273 Kelvin so therefore the product that we could get it will be nothing but it will be RI plus R dash OH so therefore we would get that is an alkyl halide as well as or an alkyl iodide and an alcohol but here basically the alcohol that we will get that will consist of a higher number of carbon atom if we compare it with alkyl iodide so that's the reason that this r is the one that will consist of higher number of carbon atom so that's it so now let me give you an example related to this one so that we could understand it better for example if we have that is ch3 o c2h5 and suppose if we are treating it with concentrated hi solution at lower temperature that is 273 kelvin so therefore the product that we could get obviously this ch3 is the one which is comparatively having a less number of carbon atom compared to that of c2h5 so now this ch3 it will be converted into an alkyl iodide that is methyl iodide and talking about the rest of the thing that is this one will be converted into c2h5 OH that is nothing but an ethanol or an alcohol so so that was related to the action of HI on ether so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eGrad channel thank you so much